going for? Hello, so so far it's as of now it's we're, we're in the seventh month and the total duration of the project of the solid waste management complex is eight months. So we still have one more month to go. basically four types of waste. The first one is the residual waste, which waste that goes directly to the sanitary landfill. Second is the biodegradable waste, you know, in Tagalog, uh, mga nabubulok. And then third is uh, recyclable waste, you know, uh, materials that can be used to other, to other, uh, other stuff, other things. And then last is special waste, which are, uh, for example, uh, used syringes, uh, toxic waste, hazardous waste, etc. So, so this is the first structure of the solid waste management complex. It's called the sorting facility. So basically, what it does is we manually, uh, once the garbage truck dumps the garbage. We manually sort which kind of waste and then place them in different chutes except for the toxic waste or special waste. They go straight to a vault. It's underneath this beautiful camera. Alright, so as I've said earlier, the residual waste, they go straight to the sanitary landfill, which we'll show later. And then the biodegradable are then put in the fermentation area. So here, uh, uh, the biodegradables or the nabubulok na basura, they're placed here in sun-dried for as long as Seven to seven to fourteen days, so that's up to two weeks, and then uh, to reduce moisture, and then after that, uh, they'll be collected and will be put to the vermicomposting facility, where further processes will be done for them to become uh, fertilizers. All right, so here's the second or. The second building of the solid waste management complex is called the air drying facility. So the recyclables it can go straight here and be stacked in this area. Also, the the, the finished the finished fertilizers that came in the vermicomposting area can also be stacked here. Uh, so now we're inside the sanitary landfill facility where all the residual waste are disposed of. So we're still on the process of finishing the, fa the said facility. So it's, we're at 80% uh, completion. So yeah, it is really pretty good. And these are called gas vents. So residual waste, when, they, when they're degraded, you know, the, uh, methane tends to accumulate. So. We install one of these for proper ventilation so that methane, methane won't accumulate underneath the garbage and cause a spontaneous combustion. So it's for the safety of the people and for the st structure itself. So yeah. Hello, so we're here at the wastewater treatment facility. So the collected leachate or the the liquid that comes out of the garbage is collected from the SLF site and, process and further processed here uh, for before discharging it at the end of the system. So this is made out of HDPE, high, high density polyethylene material, same as the gas vents on the sanitary landfill site. So it's high quality, it's durable. Yeah, so this is the holding pond, the first phase of the system. The second is the anaerobic pond. Third is the facultative pond, pond, the biggest pond of the four. 
and then the last is the maturation pond. So after processing the wastewater, it, it should it should qualify for the standards of DNR, so so that we maintain uh, we maintain environmental protection yeah. and health. Good morning. So these are our sanitary landfill. This is the wastewater, the cell, and first we what we did is we uh, we conduct physical assessment of the of the site. Then next we uh, dig, uh, collected the data from the LGU like the uh, topographic map, the agar, and some of the some of the items needed to be considered in the design. And yes, we also conducted permeability test in the cell to check kung kaya ng maghold yung ano yung yung ulan sa sa cell without using the HDP liner. So, ito ngayon din, ito yung mga buildings ng Menro Midsayap. So, ito yung ito yung gusto na design, medyo inspired from Sayap yung concept niya. Kasi yung Kasayap is more of a hat, parang sal salakot. So, medyo curvy. So, Yun namin kinuha yung inspiration sa roofing, uh, parang curvy din, at least uh, close to na midsayap nila na, na concept. Right. The sanitary landfill is very important uh, in the LGU, aside from uh, mandate uh, from the Republic of Major Zerky, that LGU must uh, establish their own uh, sanitary landfill. And uh, sanitary landfill is is a facility uh, that can solve the problem, uh, the, the environmental problem, uh, especially uh, solid waste. Okay, this is a facility uh, that can uh, address the issues with regards to the solid waste. Uh, when we talk the engagement of the rich reef, actually rich reef is the bring solution to our problem especially to uh, construction of the sanitary landfill of course they are the one who uh, not give us a uh, complete solution but they are uh, the one who give way to uh, solve the problem of the uh, construction of sanitary landfill because history is uh, good in constructing the sanitary landfill and especially they are our partner since then Okay. Then uh, Ridge to Reef brings hope no, to uh, the local government unit to have this kind of project. So for the engagement, uh, they are totally engaged and they are uh, specialized in constructing SLF and uh, they are dedicated uh, to have this. <coughs> To finish all the projects now that sinimula nila, Kumbaga, they started the project and they finished it in a right time. So that's all I can say to the Ridge Street. Ridge Street started uh, six years ago. Uh, this starts as a small company uh, offering services to private companies before. But uh, after more than two years, we started already catering uh, local government units, uh, national government agencies to uh, assist them implementing environmental projects. Now, looking forward, uh, in the next five years, we are seeing ourselves helping more local government units establish uh, this kind of facilities, uh, which, which we call uh, sanitary landfill facilities. And in this project, we established a solid waste management complex which uh, covers uh, all the uh, elements of proper solid waste management, particularly in disposal. Thank you.